I'm just going to give it a few minutes to see who joins. And I'm looking at the internet connection and making sure it's okay. Is it blurry or are we looking good? I'm just going to see if anyone else comes in before I start. It looks better. All right, I'm switching my internet connection. All right, I'll just give it a few minutes. It's blurry again. Okay. Hey, Chakisha. Sorry, I dipped on you on the other one. I always forget to take my phone out of that on like auto rotate stuck in whatever like whatever side it was on it was stuck which is really annoying i'm just waiting to I know the timing kind of sucks because people are just coming home from work, but, oh man, if I could only, I'll tell you guys during the plan with me the kind of weekend I've been having. Just grabbing some washi. I think I want to use some of my new um, wonton in a million washi that I just got boiled, but I guess we're going to have to mix the metals today. And let me pull some other washi. Hey, I got this one. And this is some more wonton one. I think I have that one already. Um, here we go. That one is for Michelle, I think. Okay. Okie dokie. You're still working? I wish I could work from home. There's so many days where I just wish I did not have to go into the office and I could work from home. Honestly, half what I could do from home, but, but they just do really be hating because not let us do it right. so i'm grabbing up all my stickers here can be prepared and of is date numbers and i'm not about to go looking for any I feel like everything i have here is gold and rose gold and no Silver, which I don't even understand. That's just a sign that I need to um, make my own. 
But then last week, then I used um no last week I used gold. I need to add. All right, so I'm gonna get started. I don't wanna drag this out forever. Just flipping through my foil to see what I have to use this week. I think I have these in silver. Yeah, all right. So the kit that I'm going to be using is this, um, this kit. This is my Sherry Moore kit in my shop. It's an oops kit. I always use my oops sticker. So one of my pages is like, this one is miscut, but we're going to use it anyway. So these are the full boxes. This is the headers and washi. Like I said, it's an oops cut, an oops page. And then um, these are the functional boxes. The deco, this is an oop sheet as well. Um, trackers and checklists. And then ombre heart checklists and bottom washi. So I also grabbed some of these washi. These are the new wonton and a million washi that just came out. I have my lighter, um, simply gilded washi here. This Simply Gilded Washi and this uh, Wonton in a Million um, Simply Gilded Collabs. This is an oops roll as well. I'm going to start calling these playing with me like this playing with me. Don't mind my, um, what's it called? Pajamas. I have my, but I'm going to start calling these playing with me these because I swear half the things I use are like oops. <laughs> oops things. Because I don't see a need to like get rid of them. I'm not gonna mind how it looks on my planner. So we could be here forever. So I'm just gonna start, um, I'm gonna take all this stuff out of the back of my planner. I'm gonna start. That stuff was making my planner like bulge up. All the stuff that was in this, that's better. I'm gonna white out these lines down here cause I'm gonna use some washi. And also the um, washi in the kit is white. So the lines will show through the bottom. So I'm gonna wipe that out. I'm gonna use the wonton in a million washi. And try, cause this line is pretty straight. So I'm gonna try to line it up as hand so that I don't have to cut it on this end. So I wanna tell you guys about my weekend, <laughs> my disaster of a weekend. Originally, I was gonna do this plan with me on Sunday and I need to grab a ruler real quick. Give me one second. A ruler or a card or something to cut this washi with. Okay. So I was originally gonna do this on live plan, live plan with me is on Sundays. And I woke up yesterday morning not yesterday, yeah, yesterday morning. I was startled in the middle of the night to, or the middle of the morning, to what sounded like, um, I, honestly, I thought the dog was peeing on the floor, like running water. And I was like, where's that noise coming from? Like, why do I hear water running? This makes no sense. And I'm like, is this dog on the floor? Like, what is actually 
happening right now. And I get up and I see the dog on the carpet and I'm like, hmm, peeing on my carpet? And I'm like, nah, he can't be peeing on my carpet. It wouldn't sound like this. So I'm like, like is going? Oh, mind you, it's like four something in the morning, probably. And I just can't understand where the sound of running water is coming from. And that's all I'm trying to figure out because in my mind, I'm like, the faster I figure it, the faster I can go back to bed and get back on with my life. So I still don't understand where the noise is coming from. This would be a lot easier if I had a longer ruler because I feel like it's not gonna be straight, but it's okay. Um, so yeah, I'm trying to figure out where this noise is coming from. And for the life of me, I couldn't. So now I'm thinking, oh, the sink must be overflowing. And I'm like, well, why is the sink overflowing? Like who was using the sink at this ungodly? I'm like, well, maybe um, my fiance, maybe hubby was in the bathroom and forgot to turn, you know, forgot to turn the water off or something by accident. You know, things happen. And the sink got clogged up somehow and is now overflowing. So I go into the bathroom, I try to turn the light on and I forget that the light in the bathroom doesn't work because I had issues before this, I had power issues, which I'll talk about in a minute. So I forgot that the bathroom light doesn't work and then I feel my feet getting wet and I was like, oh my gosh, the sink is overflowing. And then I look up and I'm like, the water is coming from. At this point, I'm just like, what the hell? Something must be leaking upstairs. So we live in a brownstone and there's about, there's four floors. And sometimes the, like we were having an issue before with the tenant bathroom on this, like the second floor, the third floor rather where the shower would leak. And when the shower would leak, it would go down into the room above my bath, start raining in my bathroom. I'm thinking, oh, let me go upstairs and go connected to my office. And um, I'm like, let me go upstairs and figure out what's going on with the shower. And as soon as I get to the top of the stairs, I hear all that I'm like, this sounds like the washing machine is running. So now I'm like, the washing machine running. I'm the only person that does laundry. So I'm like, who? I'm like, hmm. Let me see, let me try to change the internet connection. Is it a little bit better now? Yeah, it should be better, it looks better to me. So um, I'm like, I'm the only one that does laundry in here. So I get upstairs to check the washing machine. I don't see it completely dark again. It's it's four something in the morning. And then I realize that the window is wet. And I'm like, is it raining outside? Like, is it leaking from outside? All these thoughts are running through my head as to what could possibly be causing this leak. Because when I get to the top of the stairs, all I see is a river of water coming into the hallway into um coming into the hallway to where the stairs are and I'm just trying to go through all the possibilities of why of like why there's water pouring down and like prior knowledge to this would be knowing that the um the water was previously shut off in the kitchen upstairs because there was an issue with the pipe. So we had hot water on, but not cold water. And, or yeah, and all this time I'm thinking, you know, in my mind at this moment, I'm like, well, there's no water on. 
So it can't possibly be pipe. It can't be. That's why it never like dawned on me that a pipe was leaking because I was like, no, that's not possible. The water's not on. And I didn't think to my water's on because laundry time. We couldn't do laundry if there was no hot water on. So there has to be water on. Let's let's use our brains, Camille. And I didn't. So I finally go look out the window. There's no, there's nothing. And I'm just like, oh crap. There, the pipe. There must be water coming out of the pipe. We need to go shut the water off. We need to shut the water off. We need to, you know, just stop the leak because there's water. Like the whole house is gonna be flooded in a minute if we don't get this under control. So I wake up, I had woken him up before I ran upstairs to tell him to put like a bucket there so that the water in the bathroom would be contained and it wouldn't like start running into the rest of, um, you know, the rest of our house and like damage our carpet and stuff like that. So I go back downstairs and I'm like, you have to go in the basement. You have to turn, shut the water off because it's flooding upstairs. Like upstairs is flooded. And this man has like no urgency at this point. And I'm like freaking out. And I'm like, oh my God, you have to hurry up. And in a situation, I don't really like basements. In a situation like this, I would have went down there and did it myself. But I knew that I couldn't reach the valve. I knew I wasn't tall enough to reach it, so I knew that I had to, um, I had to have someone else go up there, go down there to reach the valve so that we could turn it off. And look, I'm not even paying attention to what I'm doing because this is not where those headers go, is it? Let's see. Usually I put my full boxes down so I know exactly where to put the headers. Oh no, that'll be fine. So I'm telling him that he needs to go downstairs and check out the check out the water. I mean turn off the water. And I'm just trying to read and see if there's any comments. And he's just like totally taking his time. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, hurry up, hurry up. He's like, stop yelling, relax. And I'm like, you don't understand. I can't relax right now. The water is like coming out everywhere. We're gonna we're gonna be drowning soon. In my mind, that's all I could think. So finally, he goes downstairs and he gets the water shut off. And we have to now deal with the fact that there's no water in the house. No water equals no heat. And um, did I do that right? Light pink and then purple. Yeah. There's no water in the house now because there's, I mean, there's no heat in the house now because we have no water. And luckily it was warm outside, so not having heat wasn't too much of a bad thing. But it was just like, I just couldn't believe all of this was happening. And I was just thinking about all the things that I had to do that day and how not having water was not helping, <laughs> was not going to make any of those situations any better. So luckily we have water now. The issue is still not 100% fixed, but it's turned off to there so it's not leaking and we do have um, water and heat and all that good stuff, but now there's no electricity in my bathroom which is fun because not having electricity in the bathroom is just, it's like you can't, that's where I do my makeup. That's, you know, you spend a lot of time in the bathroom. So to not have electricity in the bathroom kind of sucks, but it, things could worse. I would rather not have lights in there than, than to not, not have water. I guess it's the lesser of two evils about the issue of the lights. So I wasn't really interested in watching um, football. I used to be the biggest football fan in the world. Like when I was in college, I went to all the football games. I watched the games on TV. We used to do Super Bowl parties. Like Super Bowl was a few ever asked me my favorite holidays where it was always Thanksgiving and the Super Bowl because I, I really love the connected to both of those but um 
I haven't been that interested in it lately. It just hasn't, I don't know, it just hasn't been something that I care that much about and kept up with the NFL, especially with all the issues like with the NFL and things like that. I just didn't care to keep up with um, with the NFL and that's probably pretty much why I didn't, you know, I'm really interested in watching this one. I didn't care who won, to be honest. I didn't, um, I really didn't give two craps about either of the teams. So, how was you guys' weekends? I'm here trying to open up my planner so I can figure out where I want to put my full boxes. I love you, Cherry Much one there. And I think I'm going to put this really one. I want to do, I think I want to do a weekend wash, oh, washy weekend banner. I really think I want to do one here with this wonton in a million, um, this wonton in a million washi. And then maybe this skinny vine and one of these bows. I think these will fit in. Maybe some washi from the kit. I'll do that. So I'm gonna put the corner. And I think I'm gonna put the girl up here. I'm going to put this page and probably the I Love You a Latte. Let me do it like this. Here. No, this one has to go down here. So we'll do this one. So then before all of that happened, I um I had an issue with power in a different wall. So we have I guess the circuit something was wrong with the circuit breaker. So for like a week, um my internet was real spotty. The light in the kitchen wasn't working. Like that whole wall was just it was just weird. And I couldn't, we couldn't figure out what the issue was. I'm gonna put this one up here. So at first we thought it was the switch that the light was connected to because it seemed like when we when it was pulled out of the wall and you touched it, like it was a, it was clear that there was a short in that particular um, in that particular line and that replacing the switch would just solve all the problems. So that was done. And then we realized that replacing the switch would not solve all the problems. Are you guys paused too? Let me figure this out real quick. We found out that it was the circuit breaker that was messed up and it had knocked out everything. The internet was knocked out, all the electricity to that whole wall was knocked out the um the what's it called tv everything so it was just really <laughs> it was a really stressful week to say the least um not having lights in the kitchen cooking by candlelight is <laughs> really hard i don't know if you've ever tried to do it but it's not something that i encourage or enjoy so um, having to get past that and then having issues with the electricity in, in the um, bathroom and the flooding and everything were stressed out. Um, I had orders to fill. I had wanted to go live. There was like so many things that I wanted to do that I just had to tell myself something is not going to get done. And that's, that's okay. And I have to deal with it. 
and move past it and figure something else out. So the best thing for me to do was to reschedule the lot so that I could focus on uh, designing kits. Like, does need to do that or internet? And I could focus on in what orders I could that I didn't need the internet for. Because that was an issue. And even now, I feel like my internet is still... Let me... Hold on one second, guys. I'm going to try to connect to the front line and see if that helps with the internet at all. It was just... And I'm hope to just be able to be properly and um you know business as usual so that it can be business as usual. Mine. But I still feel like I'm getting issues with the internet and it's just so much that I don't, like, I just need to take some time to sit down and figure out a way to make everything just run better and run properly because it seems like nothing wants to just be okay. So I'm not, I haven't really been talking about the plan in my sidebar and I want to use these scripts, but if they cut properly, These ones definitely did not cut properly. And this one, this one is okay. I'll make it work. So I'm gonna use this Happy Mail script because I am a few packages this week. And I'm gonna pink. What did I do with my tweezers? White out this line. I'm gonna put this down to mark the happy mail that's supposedly coming this week because I feel like things come when they feel like it 90% of the time. And I usually mark like dinners underneath here. So I guess we can do that. I haven't really meal planned much this week the way I normally would. I'm going to cut off Saturday and Sunday on here. Hopefully it's a straight if I can get it. Just because I don't honestly don't intend on cooking this weekend at all. So if we eat, I'm hoping it's leftovers or um when possibly eat out. But it's more than likely gonna be leftovers. So we can put down This here. And I'll put a header on top of it. Okay, 
So this is how it's looking so far. What are we eating? I have no idea. Honestly, I'm just trying to survive with some kind of decent internet because it's just acting a fool. So, now I'm going to go into my day by day. Maybe I'll do my washi weekend banner first because that's going to take a while. And I should have opened this washi before I started, but it's okay. As soon as I saw this washi, I knew I wanted to use it like for weekend banners and like checklists in my planner and also in my rings. The only thing is um, this spread has hollow, um, has hollow foil and the foil on here is rose gold, but it's not that really not that big of a deal to me. That the foil is different. So how was uh, you guys' weekends? Did you guys do anything exciting for the Super Bowl or just in general this weekend? I think I'll start with the red one. I'm going to have to pull up these headers and hopefully I can still use them after because I did not print out extras. And I was watching, um, who was it? Plan with Lake and, and Cindy. They did the uh, llama letters. They did a video of like a tag. I don't know if it was a tag necessarily, but it was just things they hate in the planner community. Let me grab a pair of scissors real quick. Or things they don't understand in the planner community rather. And they were talking about um, like when people use when people do plan with me, it's like this, where they lay down all the full boxes and how did they know like they weren't gonna be busy or something before they put down the boxes. Like when you just pre-decorate prior to, of course I just cut that the wrong way too. Oh, goodness gracious. When you pre-decorate prior to, um, planning I guess they were saying like how do you know you're not going to be busy or how do you know you don't need that space for something else do you pre-plan and that's how you figure out where you can put your full boxes or that like people don't really explain their like thought process behind um behind their like full box placement and I honestly never put that much thought into it I just figured that I mean, when I do mine, I pre-plan, and nine times out of ten, I don't usually have things that will take up so much space that I need to, um, that I couldn't put, like, a full box down, and not in this planner anyway. When I have things that take up, like, my long to-do list or my day-to-day -day tasks, nine times out of ten, I'm planning, I do daily planning as well. So those things will end up in my daily planner because I would never have enough space in here to put down every single thing that I was doing. I would literally would run out of space so fast. So for me, it's like essential to have some type of, some type of daily planner because I wouldn't be able to put it in. And so when it comes down to putting like full boxes down in this planner, I honestly don't think twice about why like there being any rhyme or reason to it. It's just because I want to and it looks nice there because the space is just, um, you know, the space will get taken up by, 
by the full boxes and I'll end up um sorry I gotta concentrate when I cut these things I don't know why but I feel like the space is either gonna get taken up by decorative elements um for the most part or it'll just be you know if I need more space I'll plan in another planner because I just don't <laughs> I don't know I never really thought put too much thought into it until I until I saw that video so I wonder how other people other people feel about um you know people who just like haphazardly put down the full boxes without thinking of thinking or saying why I feel like these two pinks next to each other I don't want to be that nitpicky person but I feel like this is too busy could I fit this one this one, yeah. Let's do one of these. This one is a little bit more purpley. Honestly, like I said, I never really put that much thought into why people like, oh, do you have plans this day? Like, how do you know? Like they were saying, like, how do you know if you're not going to be busy? Um, you're going to be busy at this time or you're not going to need that space to plan something else. But I feel like most people who do decorative planning or like plan and Erin Condren planners are memory keeping anyway. So they probably don't really care about how much space is getting taken up by stickers and washi or they'll just make it work out because that's what they want to do. That's how they want their planner to look. I don't know. Maybe I'm putting too much thought into the comment that that they made but it just it intrigued me there the different pet peeves that they had or um comments that they had about like the planner community and and what people do what people do with their planners that annoys them it was interesting it was an interesting video to watch they had two one was like planner things that planner trends and the other one was like um things in the planner community thank you crafty mind it's in my shop. Oh, is it frozen for you guys too? Oh no, it's not frozen for you guys. It's just frozen on my iPad. Cause my phone is still, my phone is still going on strong. But what was that last comment? They're both very functional planners though. I can relate to the anxiety. Full boxes stress you out. I love the full boxes. Um, they are very functional planners. Like Cindy will just use, um, Cindy will just use washi and her lettering. And I feel like, you know, it's funny because I look at Cindy's planner and sometimes she has like these big chunks of lettering to, to break up the space for her. Like that's what takes up space for her. And I'm just like, it's almost similar in a sense to someone using a full box to break up that time because you're just using you're just using um your lettering instead of a full box to to fill up that time there. So I don't know. I think let's see. I think I'm going to put this one on the end. So, you know, I'm going to get nitpicky about this banner for absolutely no reason. Put that one on the end. And is this going to fit here by itself? I need to put a bigger one there. Do I have more skinny washi? Oh, I think I might be able to use one of these little tiny washi strips in a kit. I'm gonna take this oops sheet and like cut it right there. Cut it right here where the white is.
tweezers. I need something that just takes up a little tiny sliver of space. I'm trying to read you guys comments but my iPad like is what I'm trying to use to see the comments and it's just like hating me right now it's telling me I have no internet I don't know it's very similar here is kind of the main focus There's most people use full boxes that way yeah, that is why there's so many different types of planners and um, different kind of stickers and everything because everyone is 100% different in the way that they plan. So it's definitely, you know, not one size fits all in everyone's planners. Everyone's planners are beautiful, you know, the way that they want it to be. I, I just found it funny because I was looking at, I'm like watching those. And I'm like, you take up a lot of space with lettering. So it's just a different, it's just a different medium that you're using to take up chunks of time. She's also a horizontal planner. So I feel like the horizontal, it has um, like less space, not less space in it, but you can take up bigger chunks of space than, um, than in some other planners. Like... What am I trying to say? With the horizontal planner, lettering across will take up, like, fill up, fill up your whole day. And then you don't have much space left to do anything else um, if you just take, take up that big chunk in the middle. So, to me, it's, it's very similar, but it's very functional because it's telling you what you're doing as opposed to just being filler. So, I get it. I just thought it was interesting because until until they mentioned it, I honestly never thought twice about where I was putting, like, putting the full boxes down and, like, why? It, it never really dawned on me that people would see it as, did I not have anything else to do? Now I'm trying to figure out where I want to put this weekend banner. Do I want to put it up here? across the washi or do I want to put it down here let me put it down here okay. that took forever in a day let me do these date covers real quick and then get to the actual planning so something that I did do is on my, where is my deco sheet? I'm gonna leave the flags because they're, they match the kit, so they're not really gonna bother me that much. But um, I changed the font on the date covers on my newer kits that I just put out. Well, they're not in the shop yet, but I showed pictures of them on Instagram I just showed the full boxes I didn't show the rest of the kit but I changed the font to a print like a blocky print type font and I'm interested interested to see the feedback on those whether people like that better or if they script better I'm not really um, tied down to either you know either one but I just wanted to switch it up just to see if to see what people like I also am really liking this font in this weekend banner as opposed to this one. I like that it's smaller. 
So if I'm not mistaken, I changed the weekend banner on the um, new kids as well. I'm not 100% sure if I changed them on all the kits or just the last one that I was working on. But I think I really like that font. I just hadn't decided whether or not, um, I hadn't decided whether or not, really this white out. I wanted to make the change permanent. So I'll just let it go in these kits, see how these kits sell, and then get feedback from people on which weekend banner they liked better or which date covers they liked better. I know a lot of people who buy my kits use um, use Happy Planner, so the date covers probably are irrelevant because the date covers don't necessarily cover all the whole weekend, so they may not even be using it. I'm not 100% sure, but um, I'll be interested to hear the feedback. All right, we can finally get to the planning. So Monday today was a it was a day at work. Um, I have my work scripts in this pile somewhere. I just foiled some. Let's see use here. If I'm not crazy, I could have sworn I just foiled some. Weekend banner. This is the stuff from behind the planner. Oh, maybe I am crazy. Maybe I didn't foil any work stickers. I could have sworn I foiled icons. Oh no, I did headers, icons, and bows. I didn't foil the work stickers. I am crazy. So we're just going to put a bow, I think where um work is supposed to, where i normally would put work and i'll just write it in i'll write it in later we we'll use that as marking work and these are again they're all oops not all oops stickers but this one i had printed these bows out on the wrong paper i forgot to switch the paper in the printer and so um, this paper doesn't really foil well. So typically I don't use it for my foil stickers, but since I had already printed them, I figured I would go ahead and foil them and use them. So we'll do that. Uh, today, I'm going to put down this But First Coffee sticker on Monday. This is just a sampler I did for the Chicago Planner Conference because I did go to Dunkin' Donuts this morning because it was really nice out. Um, and I wanted to get an iced coffee. So I'm going to take a washi strip. I wanted to get an iced coffee and I went to Dunkin' morning and did that and I'm glad I did because when I got to work it was very busy and I wasn't really able to um I wasn't really able to make coffee I wouldn't have been able to make coffee had I not gone and gotten gone and gotten coffee before I got to work because there was just so much going on I'm gonna into these appointment labels and I'm gonna put it on, let's do this light pink one. Let's do the dark pink. I'm gonna put it down here. And that is going to make this thumbtack. And this is on my large icon sampler. This sheet I cut, this was when my blade needed to be replaced. So, I'm going to use that to mark filling orders. All 
All right, so Tuesday, I don't have too much going on. I'm going to take this half box here. I'm gonna mark work. I'm gonna take, and these are all miscut to this whole sheet. They they cut on the same sheet. I'm gonna take this half box and put it here, I believe. I'm gonna mark um, some work things that I need to do. And I'm gonna take one of these labels to put here. I'm gonna mark going to the post office because I need to, I need to, I need to drop off orders and I need to check my PO box. I couldn't think of the word I was looking for. I'm trying to see if I have any of Michelle stickers right here. I usually use her post office stickers. I think they're in my, they're definitely in my other sticker binder that I didn't bring over here with me. It's in my bag and I don't want to get up again. So we're gonna go to the post office here and I don't think I have anything here I can mark that with. I can use this little package icon to mark the post office. And I need to mark, um, Lastly, what was the last thing I'm doing on Tuesday? I think I'm going to leave this blank for now. I'm just going to fill it in with some washi because I don't really, honestly don't. And I'm going to move this down then. I don't have any big tasks that need to get done that I can think of at this, this absolute moment. The things I know I need to do for sure are packaging orders and, um, not packaging orders, but taking the orders to the post office and um, checking my PO box. So we're just gonna fill up some of this empty space with washi. I'm really trying to use washi more in my planner I have so much of it and I like making dashboards and things like that with washi, but I find that in my actual spreads, I don't use it as much as I would like to. So a goal of mine this year is to like incorporate washi in as many spreads as I can. So I can use the washi, use all the washi as well as making dashboards, you know, continuing to make dashboards for all my planners. If I'm gonna keep uh, buying washi, I definitely want to be using it as well. Uh, there. All right, Wednesday we've already marked work. I need to Take one of these, I'm gonna take this arrow icon. Because there's a bunch of things I need to follow up on. Um, I remember this is for an interview that we're having. Yeah, there's a bunch of things I'm gonna need to follow up on at work. So I'm gonna take this arrow icon so that I can remember to do my follow ups. And I need to um, take one of these quarter boxes. Is it this one? Oh, these ones were cut too bad to use, I think. Yeah. So I'll take a fancy label. And these ones are a little bit better. And that's gonna be for another interview that I need to have on Wednesday. Lastly, I'm going to mark, can I use these? They're all right. I want to film a new releases video. And I'm gonna take this TV icon 
because I want to watch my show. The only show I ever mark in my planner. Well, for now, I'll mark Game of Thrones when that comes back on. But um, I want to watch my 600 pound life. So we'll mark that on Wednesday. Thursday, I'm going to, we have to take our, or we, not we, they, my employees have to take the company car to get an oil change. So I'm going to put that here. Oil change. Let's see what we can mark that with. This is like a car wash icon. And that one is gas. But I think I'm going to use one of them anyway. I'm going to use the gas one because it's like fluids almost. And they do need to put gas in the car too. So I'm just going to put this and car maintenance. For our company car. And then on Thursday, I want to... If I have time, I would like to film. So I'm going to, I don't have any more hollow. I also need to pack for Chicago. And we need groceries. So, and I need to get my nails done. I'm trying to figure out which of these million icons are icons that I actually need to use. Oh, I'm gonna need to edit. So I'm gonna put this laptop to edit some videos. And I actually do need to get my sticker quick because I have some um, like character stickers to use. And I also have my wonton. Oh, I have my other stickers right there, too. So. There's any one of these in here that I want to use. No. Let's see about here. I do need to um, go to Target. Oh, I could have used these to mark work. I forgot I had these that I wanted to use up. I hate this shop. I would never order from them again. But, you know, you have them, so you use them. But I already put those bows down, and I don't want to waste them. So we'll use, save those for next time. For YouTube stickers. All right, I think I'm gonna use, this is from that same shop that I said I don't like, but I'm gonna use one of these. Just gonna see what else is in here. My desk is becoming such a mess. I'm going to take one of these pink, pink ones. And I'm going to put it down here because I'm going to work on orders. So that will just take up enough space. There. For the whole day. On Friday. Friday, I have supervision. So I'm going to take a... One of these labels. With a meeting script. See, this is why I don't film Erin Condren plans with, plan with me. I want to, but I feel like they just take forever for me to do. Like we're at an hour, over an hour. And I'm just like, do I really need this? Do I really want to sit here and, and edit that is really the question. 
I'm gonna take this little fork, knife, and spoon icon because on Fridays, I usually have dinner at my mom's house. I'll put that here because it's the last thing. It's usually the last thing that I do. And I'm gonna take this other icon. This is my large icon sampler, so sometimes I like these because they take up more space. And I'm gonna grab this desk icon. Sheet. I'm telling you guys, this is when my blade was like ready to go. So the sheet didn't really cut right. Um, but I want to clean my office. So we're going to put clean office here. All right. On Saturday, I'm going to take a half box. Take this pink one here. Thank you, Beverly. And I'm gonna take this shopping bag icon here because, or I'm gonna take this, um, do I wanna take this one? Or maybe we'll do a checklist instead of this half box. Because I do want to run a couple of errands on Saturday. I also need to work on my table gifts. So I'm gonna take a washi strip. I'm gonna take a washi strip. And again, these were like, oops, cut, so. That washi strip. And I'm gonna take a check box. I'm gonna do this purple one. And I'm gonna cut off two of the hearts on top. And now I'm gonna take this Aaron's icon and stick it here. And I'll be able to write in Aaron's there. On Sunday, I'm gonna use a wonton in a million sticker. I was just like, have I used only this sticker that wasn't my own? Hmm. This is not straight. I might skip the wonton and a million sticker just so that I use all my own stickers this time around, even though that one sticker wasn't mine. I wanna use some washi here, but I think it's too much washi right there, so we'll leave that. Anyway, we'll put down the errands that I have to run right there. I'm like losing my train of thought as I'm talking to you guys. Sunday is the last I'm trying to think about what is actually going to happen on Sunday. I'll probably work on orders. This is like a bills, um, a bill icon. But every time I see it, I think about orders and the shop. So that is what we're going to use it for. So we'll do the rest of the orders that don't get done so that they can be ready to ship on a Monday. 
And I think the rest of the day um, after I work on orders in the morning, it's just going to be family time. So maybe I'll just write that in. I don't really have, um, I don't really have a sticker for that. And I'm going to put this cleaning sticker in. I guess that means I need to make some script family time stickers. And at some point, I do need to get my car washed because my car is filthy. I need to um, get some silver or make some hollow date dots because this, I was going to put silver ones up there, but I got away with using pretty much all hollow except for this washi and that one sticker there. And I think I really like it. So I think I want to change this sticker right here though. I'm about to be one of those nitpicky people that um, plan like, oh my gosh, there's too many of the same color next to each other. I have to fix it. And I usually like roll my eyes so hard when people say that in videos, but I can see how the aesthetic of your spread is really different when, when you have like too many of one color next to each other. So maybe we'll do that pink is there. Okay, better, better, better. So I always like to take um, before the pen pictures before I write everything in. So I'm not gonna write anything in yet, but if you wanna see the pictures of after the pen, then check out my Instagram, cause usually that's where I will show it, or you can tune in next week. Um, actually, next week I will not be doing a live plan with me because I'll be in Chicago for the Chicago Planners Conference. So I'm gonna pre-film, and I think that is what I should have marked here, that I wanted to film for the sh um, for next week's plan with me, when I'm gonna be using one of my new kits. But I'll show you guys last week, um, how last week turned out. I still have to put the work stickers in because I never did them out. I never foiled, so I didn't stick them in yet, but after the pen i should just put like a huge canceled sticker on the whole weekend because oh my goodness it was a disaster but i'm loving the way that that looks and i'm loving this even though pink is my least favorite color in the world i actually really do love how this looks i wish i would have made this um washi strip a little bit longer but it's okay because this one is like the only long one and it's kind of bothering me that it's so long and the rest of these are so short but it's all good Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Um, thank you guys so much for joining me for my live plan with me. I know I need to work on these, these this internet issue. Um, hopefully I can get my connection to be a little bit faster so that these plan with me don't like suffer as much or look kind of, um, what's it called? Don't look blurry. But I really appreciate you guys watching. And I will be posting the after the pen, like I said, on the video that I do of um, my next spread. And I'll be using, I think I'm going to use the Cafe Olay kit because I think that's like my favorite kit that I've designed over the past, um, since I came out with these ones. And the Cafe Olay kit, I, oh my God, I can't wait to use it. I printed out half of it, but I haven't cut it yet. So I just have to cut it. I stopped because I was started to cut these vinyls for um for some dashboards that i'm going to be doing but i don't know that they're going to work out the way i want them to because it looks really thin and i'm wondering if it's going to break when i try to lift it up so i may have to work on that but anyway i'm going to try and get these these done at some point uh today so yeah, it's blurry on your phone when you switched to your computer and it was clear. Okay, I'm glad that it was clear some way, somewhere. I think a lot of people do watch on their phones, so I want it to be clear everywhere, but it's a work in progress, definitely, and I will get there, and when I do get there, I know it'll be great. So thank you guys for sticking with me, 
and I'll see you guys during my next live and I'll be on time. Hopefully there won't be any plumbing or electrical issues that keep me from going live. And um, yeah, that's all. Bye guys.